just in case you missed that five o'clock, we are all back Here together. We again. are all <laughs> together. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know. Wow. Yes. I had to go way back to elementary yes. school. Oh. And we all know that wasn't yesterday. <laughs> no, it wasn't. So. Well, yeah, we got the band back mm -hmm. together. I mean, no, Marv will be back later on tonight. You know, folks will know where Marv is. Yeah. And, and by that, I mean, we've been in the same room, but right, we've been having right. to spread apart, so mm -hmm. everything's kind of coming 14 back. Months. We are all vaccinated, though. Yeah. We can be yeah. together. Good to go. Good to go. I'm telling you what, everybody's having a good time out on the corner of First and Poplar, too. Look at Just Tap. They got the sidewalk all slammed oh, out there. Very nice. Good times. What is going to be a fantastic weekend weather wise with no worries out there. 76. It is perfect. As we go through the overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, we're going to be looking at 40s. Sunset around 826. There's a look at the numbers and we're seeing plenty of 70s out there. And again, as we go on through tonight, we'll slowly kind of drop on through the 60s and 50s and then find those 40s tomorrow morning. That could be it. Uh, for the 40s on this stretch, or we may have some upper 40s as we get into Sunday morning. We'll see. Not much happening other than a couple of, well, actually one thunderstorm developing that keeps kind of throwing rain into south <laughs> eastern parts of Kansas. All right, let's kind of focus in on where we are here. Clearly, I don't have anything to talk about, but it's all quiet here. Let's go forward through Saturday into Sunday where we have sunshine both days. There may be a few passing clouds like today. Well, it just makes it even prettier. You get the little cumulus clouds out there with the blue sky behind it. So let's go into Monday. Now, if you get back into the work week, past two weeks, we've been seeing rain coming right back at you again after a perfect weekend. That does not look to be the case next week. So the sprinklers may start running here as we go through the coming week, possibly. We'll see. There's Monday afternoon. Once we get into Tuesday, it's still kind of out of reach. Hopeful that once we head toward midweek, we're going to get into kind of an afternoon shower or maybe a thunderstorm daytime heating kind of thing but it's not looking all that great as far as the potential especially once you get on into thursday friday of next week now i did put a few little 20 percent chances on there for the second half of next week just in case uh, because by the time we get there we will be needing rain again that's for sure 40s to start us off tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon same kind of numbers we're seeing now, these upper 70s, but I think we'll hit 80 in a couple of spots, especially the farther south you are. And then Sunday morning, probably still some upper 40s to maybe low 50s. We'll average around 50. And then as we head into Sunday afternoon, I think we're going to have some low 80s, maybe some 82s, 83s out there. And again, for the humidity levels, as long as you don't have dark green, especially it's comfortable. But if you don't see any green or it's very light shaded out there, that means low dew points, humidity low. That deep blue sky, no haze out there. As we head into Monday and on into the core of next week, if we want rain, we need to see these numbers come back up uh, for daytime heating to maybe pop a shower or a thunderstorm here or there. So we'll see. Nobody wants the muggies, and we don't have them this weekend. It is good on every note here as we're looking at sunshine and low humidity. Uh, and again, that goes warmer for Sunday, maybe some low to mid 80s in the next week. Looking kind of dry, but we're hoping some rain chances for the second half of the week. Coming back with This Is Home right after this.